It is my honor to declare today, June 10th, as Bernie Fowler Wade in Day in Maryland, and I urge all to join in the celebration. All right. Bernie Fowler is a former member of the Board of County Commissioners in Calvert County, former member of the Maryland State Senate. Bernie Fowler is one of the great river protectors in America and in love with the environment and keeping, in particular, the Patuxent River uh, clean. This wait in has been going on for a quarter of a century, so that Bernie has been faithful uh, to uh, do this event so that it has become now a tradition. We're going out in this nice, cool water in a little bit, wade out there and see how far we can get before we can't see our toes anymore. I have eight scheduled already. I've done, today will be the third one thus far. Uh, this is the granddaddy. This is one I enjoy most, but I, I'll go wherever they want me to go, to whatever I can. Stretch out a little bit. Stretch out a little bit. They say you never walk into the same river twice. Uh, Bernie Fowler walked into a river, uh, and Bernie Fowler's pretty tall, and uh, he walked in at about uh, five, five and a half feet, looked down, and he saw his sneakers. That hasn't happened for a very long time. Some people are saying, they're saying right now, it is not worth the investment to clean the Chesapeake Bay up. And to me, that's, uh, that is a cardinal sin, to make that kind of a statement. There is hope. I've got faith in our system. I've been disappointed so many times, but I've not been discouraged. And I, I don't plan to let that happen to me. I just don't plan to let that happen to me as long as I live. But we all are part of this. And all of us together have got to become better educated and better informed and have the actual impression of what the serious consequences are looming if we don't do something. The reason we weighed in is not only to measure the depth and the clarity of these waters, but to find a greater depth and a greater clarity to the precious consensus necessary for us to be able to restore the waters of the Chesapeake Bay. That's all. That is it. Congressman Hoyer uses the official measurement. Measure Earth. <laughs> 35 All right. And Bernie Fowler's weight in is not very scientific, you understand. What Bernie Fowler's weight in is, is a raising of consciousness event. Fifty years ago, a clear, pristine river, and then development, sewage, as we've grown, nitrogen and phosphorus, acid rain, all of these things have degraded the health of the river. In 1950, when I had Bernie's boats up there, all during the uh, late, uh, late 40s and early 50s, this river was so abundant, you'd, you'd think I'd been on drinking booze or smoking a reef or something. The way they, this river produced, 10 barrels of crabs a day. We had grass over at Broom's Island. That's where I lived all my life, early life, right over there. We had grass growing up. The kids were pulling it up, putting it on, making wigs. It was, it was a glorious day for us. People have a right to have a house to live in. That's the problem. We just, we're getting so many people that uh, it's overwhelming and nobody wants to try to really slow the growth down. And we can't have it both ways without paying a, a humongous price. Right now they're looking at dollars and uh, I'm looking at a clean river. Even with our recycling and all we do, I look at my wife, how can two people create this much trash in a week? I, it's unbelievable. But everything you buy now is in a plastic bag, which is in a plastic container. And it used to be the old paper bags, you know, and when that got wet, it soon disintegrated and it was gone. Properly fertilize your lawn. If they tell you three pounds, if the experts are telling you three pounds, don't put 10 on there. It's not gonna do you any more good. Irregardless of what the situation is, that does not in any way give us an excuse to quit trying. We've got to continue to go. Our motto for the Tuxen River, and it was borrowed from a great statesman during World War II, Winston Churchill, never give up, never, never, never give up. And that should be our attitude, and that should be our objective. Never give up until we get the job done.